Okay, so we're gonna start with our dry rub for our brisket. Uh, this is four tablespoons of Texan Steakhouse rub. It's this one here. Um, two teaspoons of granulated garlic. Three teaspoons of brown sugar and three teaspoons of smoked paprika and we're going to add in some black pepper we're just going to give this a nice mix okay so this is our lamb brisket uh, and this is the rub we just made so we're just going to do a dry rub where we cover the entire um, uh, top and bottom and even the sides with the rub and then we're gonna okay when we get there we get there so we're just gonna take the rub and we're gonna press it into the meat So I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so the lamb brisket is completely covered with the spice. We have a little left over, like maybe a tablespoon and a half, which we're going to keep for tomorrow uh, when we are searing it and we're going to make the stock. We're going to use the spice and then we're going to cook it in the oven. So the reason we cover it with so much of spice is because we try to get the smoky flavor because we're not putting it into a, a barbecue or outside on the fire. We're going to make it in the oven. So that spice is going to help us give a barbecue flavor. So we're going to get one of these bags and put it in and keep it in the fridge overnight. And then we're going to make it tomorrow. So if you have a vacuum seal, you can try and get off all the air or you can dip it or soak it in a tub of hot water and as it comes to the top, you just seal it so all the air is out. So this is going into the fridge for about 12 hours because I'm going to make it tomorrow. Okay, so it's been now a day that my uh, or overnight that my brisket has been in the fridge so we're gonna start off by making a sauce that I'm going to inject into our brisket so I have about one and a half cups of hot water and to that I've added one chicken stock and one beef stock I'm going to add in two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. And two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, so I can just give this a nice stir and I'm going to set it aside till I'm ready for it. Okay, so to our roasting pan, we're just going to place it on our stove. Uh, one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of oil and get, our, get it nice and hot so we can add in our brisket okay so i had to swap out my roasting pan it was a bit too small so we're gonna get our brisket out of the bag we're just going to sear it on either side for like five minutes or five just to get a color and 
we move on. Okay, we build a nice crust on all the sides of the brisket. So just gonna take it out, set it aside for like five minutes while we get Our onions in here, it's one medium sized onion. I've got about five garlic, whole garlic cloves, one carrot, and a handful of broccoli. To this, we're gonna add in a zest of one lemon. Okay, and to this, we're gonna add in the leftover spice that we had, that we marinated the brisket with, one heap tablespoon, and we're just gonna simmer this for like five minutes. Okay, our well, onions are almost done. I'm going to throw in a couple of stems of thyme and about a handful of mushrooms. I'm gonna give it another two to three minutes. Okay, our onions are just nice and translucent. So we're gonna take our brisket, just place it over there, and get our sauce. So this is my sauce injector. If you don't have one, you don't need it, you can just pour in all your sauce around the brisket because it is going to get braised. Okay, so I've poured in all the excess stock sauce mixture that I've made. I'm going to cover this with about two or three layers of foil. It's going to go into the oven because it's a one kilo brisket. It's going to go into the oven for about two hours. Um, yeah, so while it's cooking, I'll update you. Okay, so it's in the oven. I've used two layers of foil, 180 degrees for two hours. Okay, so our brisket is out of the oven. As you can see, it's nice and steamy. It's all done. Um, so you want to check the internal temperature. I've checked it. I haven't put it on the video. Should be about 90 degrees Celsius. Then you know the brisket is nice and juicy and not overcooked and it's just right. So I've just sliced this here so you can see it's nicely cooked and um, it has all the juices of it just oozing from the sides so it's nice and tender waking up knowing there's a reason all my dreams come alive life is for living with you i've made my decision hey! you lift me up fill my eyes with wonder forever young in your